Guys, ben physics yes I mean it is absolutely true I mean uh, time and time again innovation has uh, shown it separated just top tier players from champions and hero time 好，这是 hero 对战 Taja 的第一场比赛。这场比赛能播确实是不错。Has thrown down two assimilators here after his gateway. Meanwhile, Taja. 他们两个都是 Liquid 战队的家伙，这边这个兵藏的是相当的复杂，这也是因为最近人族的野两兵实在是太多了，这下要给对手吓一下。我要野两兵营哦。Hero 好像真的没发现对手这个兵，你没想到这个兵都放在这个角落里面，我们正所谓最危险的地方就是最安全的地方。He will eventually find it. I think if he makes his way around, at least see the command center, which will clarify everything anyway. Here, but Tej is such a young prodigy. To be honest, he's 17, I think, only just turned 17, and he's so good. He's such an intelligent player. The probe did finally spot the barracks, by the way, in the top right, and what we do see double gas coming down for Hero with three in gas. Um, you do see sometimes double gas with maybe two in gas. 这边已经是我们看一下 Hero 没有出 Zelot， 直接加速决裂。那也是感觉到对手不太像是，哎，可能是不是看到？那是看到。好，不管如何，这边 Taja 是双开油，直接下两期，这个是要出女妖的节奏啊。Gateway expansion. Too bad. Meanwhile, Taja throwing down his double refineries, putting the bunker up at the front, and we see this out of Taja quite often as well. What will we see out of Hero next? Is he just going to go ahead and throw down that Nexus, putting the Chrono Boost down on top of the Cyber? So look at this. He's rushing. We'll get out. And there's a Twilight. 前面有谁有在说 ？Are we going to see Hero? Love TT 和这个小色吵架的事情。其实呢，这就是两个耿直的人碰到了一起，有很多的误会。Hero 直接要出引刀啊！这个看这个样子，一个直接出女妖，一个直接出引刀。不对，这是引刀吗？ Right、hand side. Hero knows that every player has to get a stalker. Right hand side. 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 Unfortunately,这个打法有可能会被引到骚扰的。我们要看一看泰甲的纪律性。啊，放 B E了，不错。好，我们要看一下接下来的发展。泰甲会不会出坦克，还是直接出女妖？出坦克的概率我感觉是比较大的。Strategy that Tejas is going to be ready for this first one. So big. That is. What, that's what Hero's banking on. He's got hallucination yep. in the works here. He's trying to get DTs into the main base, and now the pro's been spotted. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. Is he going to cancel hallucinations? He's going to. 农民想在外面找机会点血晶，但是被泰甲的巡逻枪兵给看到了。这样的话，他必须要安排一个追猎过来，把这个枪兵给清扫走。然后这个时候是把血晶点下去。哦，幻象引刀，这个战术好，我以前用过。我以前用过，但是正面相对来说比较弱。这个引刀会直接上高地，幻象引刀，怪不得他出一个哨兵啊！我说是为什么呢？ He missed it. He missed it just by a few blocks there. Just by. This time, we see the people's body is completely in shock. Just waiting for the attack. Home base is going to be under siege. 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 There's the one. 一把雷达想打两个引刀，只打到一个。Oh my! Oh, 一个都没打到，太假呀，太偷了啊！不对，太贪了。好，下面这个终于是被解决掉了，但是上面这两个怎么办？不停的削，不停削，好的漂亮 ，Hero 这个操作，瞬间就分两头走，又传了两把引刀过来，这个 DPS 简直是不能忍受，强砍被砍掉了 ，GG。
。哇，这样的一个直接是战术性击倒。当然，其实对于 Hero 来讲，这有时候。打得太灵活，反而是一个累赘，真的。因为在 TVP 的对抗里面 ，TVP 的对抗里面，对人族和神族都要求有很强的攻防能力。这是什么意思？就是说，比如说我们以我们的给的这个选手数据为例，就是说要求你的攻击数据和防守数据都很强，暴兵数据很强，正面一定要强。神族跟人族作战，百分之九十五的情况下都是要看正面的能力。正面越强。在 PVT 的对抗里面就是越占优势。呃，这一点我们可以看看，比如说像 MMA MMA 的牵制强，但是他对虫族强，但是对人族就对神族就不行。MMA 打神族水平就不行。然后呢，比如说像这个 Hero Hero 的 PVT 其实也并不算强，属属于比较弱，属于比较弱的一个 PVT。他的 PVT 可以说是世界第一 PVT， 但是 PVT 绝对是至少是在前三以后的。Squirtle、Party 和 MC 都打得比他好。If you think back, the Marine for Tasia, it was in the perfect position, the perfect position. If he would have actually been able to kill that probe right away, think about how delayed that could have been, and think about what Tasia would have said to himself and what he would have done in order to stop that. You know, put up that turret inside yeah. the main as well as what he had inside the natural, and then it just would have been a completely different game. But that one Marine missing that probe and the probe sneaking by meant victory and GG. For heroes, so our next map is going to be on Daybreak, and uh, I think we've got everyone in that we need to. But Hero is up one game so far, undefeated at DreamHack over how many games? Three games in each group. Uh, yeah, nine so six, games 12, total. 18, so 18, 19 maps yeah. total. 19 oh, wow. maps total. 19, 19 I think, because of course going 3-0, 6-0, 6-0, 6-0. and then a one game here. 19 maps to zero is Liquid Hero. In here, and it looks like we are ready to go now, as we are getting on to GSL Daybreak for the next map. Alon 说这种事情呢，已经让我没有办法解释。其实原话根本不是这个样子，大家千万不要误会。And move in. Of course, the second game in uh, game number four is now underway on stream two as well. And I would say in the next couple hours we will know the top eight players who are moving on. And then, of course, from there we'll determine the semi-finalists. But eventually, later on today in the Dream Arena, the grand finals for StarCraft II. Who will be featured? I don't know, but yeah, we just need to get a couple of other guys in here before we get this underway. By the way, other updates: we did have Mana and Cytoplasm play uh, just a few minutes ago. Mana did beat Cytoplasm wow. two zero, and we'll move on to play the winner, of course, of Hero Tasia. And uh, next on this stream, we are going to be having Protossa, the Finnish player who has been showing shocking results throughout yes. the tournament, going up against Dimaga. That's going to be a fantastic Zerg versus Zerg, and it looks like these guys are finally ready They to are. get this underway. Let's go to map two. This time, Dream Hack, I think the hero is possibly going to win. Because if he gets past Tasia, there's nothing really strong in the group. Red Oak has already been beaten by Nature. 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 It must have worked out. Let's hop into game number two and introduce our players here in the southwest position as the Red Terran tournament life is on the line but looking for some solid results. It is Liquid Tasia. And in the northeast position as the Blue Protoss, sometimes you just got to stab your friends in the back, Sean. In this yeah. case, Liquid Hero is looking to take down his teammate, Tasia. It is Liquid Hero. 蓝色虫族，啊不，蓝色神族就是毕老爷非常喜欢的 Hero。而红色人族就是腿甲，以前 Slayers 的四大天王之一，现在已经是转投到了 Team Liquid 的战队。在 GSL 的比赛里面，只有对战人族有优势的选手。才会
获得比较好的晋级机会。Hero 不擅长对战人族，我刚才说了，他的攻防数据并不高，他是一个打牵制的选手，他打得很灵活，但是在对抗人族的时候打得灵活是没有用的。如果你想在一个长期的翻战中屡次击败人族，必须要依靠强大的正面暴兵，这点和 B 老爷也很像。B 老爷在对抗人族的时候也不是他的优势对抗。更强的是像姜比、像禽兽这样的一个暴兵型的一个正面神族，在对抗即便是教主这个级别的人族啊，才会有机会。因为人族和神族主题旋律仍然是在正面对抗上的，神族必须要打出自己的正面优势才能够控制战场。t Inside here by Tasia, which will be a a nice little victory for him. The moment this Marine actually pops out, he's trying to chip away at. 我们看一下两个人的开局。Hero 是直接双气 ，BY 还没好，先放双气，又是要打什么引刀飞机这种东西了。到底是打引刀还是打飞机？这个问题是一个很严重的问题。Most, most from Sase and Naniwa actually, but Hero is taking, uh, you know, a page out of their book here. And this is again going to be very confusing. That's the one of the the key benefits of it. It's basically the best of both worlds, where you can go one bar,、uh, one gateway expand. And you can also have a heavy sentry count and tech at the same time here, depending on how many you put in the in the assimilators. 继续不停的在绕 ，Hero 在确定对手不会打三 B B O E， 因为他自己的这个战术啊是一个非常非常偷的一个打法，所以说他要极力避免对手在前期发动一个 rush 型的打法。不停在看，好，已经是在这个时候还没有看到对手有三 B， 那基本上是可以放心了。但实际上 Tasia 可以把兵造在下面，这个是另当别论。但不管如何 ，Hero 至少在此时啊是心中一定。但这个地方来的这个农民，要看铠甲会不会去点对手的气矿，这个很重要。因为如果是一旦是点了对，哦。现在反正 Hero 是没有办法封铠甲的侦察。Uh, or or in game number two, and、uh, you know he did see that only uh, uh, basically 200 gas has been mined, which is not really any tech concern. That he has to get warp gate the store can potentially. 好，现在才恢复。恢复满气矿的采集，那这样的话就是说，可能 Hero 本来是打算打一个战术，但是看到对手是单兵开矿以后，他决定把自己的二基地更快的开出来，所以说第二个气矿只用了一个农民在采。啊，这样一来的话，自己的二矿时间也是比较快，然后科技也很快，直接放下了维亚。我们看看他是是不是想打不朽一波呢？这个农民进行二次侦查，泰加这个农民哦，好的，没有能够侦查到。那泰加应该是有些警醒，因为在这个时候，对手既然是愿意牺牲一把立场来封住侦查，家里面肯定搞了什么科技，不是两矿一波，就是偷什么。引刀啊什么的，但实际上 Hero 是放了 Via， 我们要看一下 Via 出什么。Meanwhile, over on the other side, we do have Tasia throwing down a second racks. He's got reactor and tech lab getting that combat shield first, and of course beginning his factory with the tech lab right away. And he's going to start to produce tanks from this、uh, from this factory. It's something that Tasia's been doing a lot here, just adding a handful of tanks into his army. Actually, makes it very. 好，继续封侦察。好，直接三开。Oh yo. He tugs it down nice and early. Guardian shield gets ripped down, but look at Hero is setting up for a third base here, just off three gateway and double observer here. 还是要走巨象，估计 Hero 还是想了一想，他到底是巨象三开呢，还是直接？只是三开，还是这个农民放在这个地方，就等铠甲下次来侦查。这个一切我现在还不得已知，看不出来。而我们这时候看看人族的打法吧。铠甲仍然是用了他那个双兵营配合一个重工，等于是三个铲兵在铲兵，但是重工厂同时担当了。
科技建筑的作用，然后与此同时是偷一攻。这个打法呢是有坦克防守，所以说不太怕对手的两框一波。还有加里美金是开始出不朽了，没有三开的意图。这个农民估计还是想了想，算了，不开了，直接打巨象一波。这边有水友在问到华裔战队的事情，华裔战队现在已经是在上海搞定了，而且华裔战队是目前中国。在大陆职业战队里面来说，星际二选手待遇要比什么 LL 和 DOTA 选手待遇好的一个一个战队，唯一的一个战队。他们是 LL 选手是五个选手住一间房，星际二选手是两个选手住一间房。Push him into building additional gateways instead of going Colossus expand here, because if he doesn't add additional gateways, he could very easily die to a timing here. And uh, inside the main base of Tejra, Scan did go down. The Observer did die before scouting the third command center. And Hero has. 好，我们要看一下，在这个时候泰加方向的机场也是非常安全，然后直接三开。三金三兵营，但是啊，其其实现在我就觉得 Hero 如果三开的话就好了，因为像泰甲这样的一个部队啊，像泰甲这个部队，它的数量是非常少的，对神族三开是完全不能造成任何威胁。The Marines aren't going to survive very long, and Tasia has absolutely no idea what Hero is doing. He does not know about the Colossus, and he does not know about the lack of third base either yet. Yeah, and he is going to scout that pretty soon with the Marine and or the factory. We'll see who gets in there first. The Marine does get in, sees that the probe is there, and just as the probe goes in, he throws down that Nexus, and uh, the Marine does see that. Now、uh, we've got a nice spread here by Tasia moving out around the map, and he is going to find. 这边中间的枪坦推进是不能带来什么威胁，但是碰上了对手巨象的话，这个就叫血本无归。Hero 在两侧的水晶都是被对手发现了，铠甲还是打得比较灵活的。这样的话，不能第一时间在前线传兵，也是让人神族的推进啊是至少是延缓了三十秒钟。Spread out nicely. He's not got each tech for some reason here. Ooh, great! In this place, he fires a big attack. The enemy is immediately killed. 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 As the SCVs clean up, but out come the Vikings, and this will be a bit of a cat and mouth mouse here, as we will have the Vikings pick away, and that will force、yeah. uh, Hero back at least temporarily as he gears up for another attack, another warping of units this time. Some sentry. 好，第二轮兵刷起来，但是这个时候推进已经是没什么机会了。Hero 在这个时候已经是要准备三开。这个时候根据我的经验啊，只能是尽量的交换，但是没有什么太多的机会。拖出所有的农民。哦、oh, ，但是效果还是不错的。这边泰甲的接兵好像有点问题，人口很多，但是兵怎么没几个？啊，可能还是刚才兵营少了啊，他现在才在补兵营。泰甲这个兵营补满了呀！泰甲的兵营补满了。在这个时候，运输机的作用还不如维京的作用，因为面对巨象的这种火力，运输机很难加血。还被打掉一个运输机。如果 Hero 继续前压的话，泰加可能已经要挡不住了，因为他现在人口已经落后了一倍了。挡不住了，挡不住了！第三个高帅夫到了。Yeah. 急进，居然是二比零。二比零这个比分真是让我没有想到啊！其实泰加在第一波防守已经是非常的出色，后面三。三个地堡赢得了很多的时间，但是后续我觉得我个人觉得是没有必要再接运输机。在这种战斗里面，运输机真的是作用非常的可限，非常的这个有限。你不如是接围巾。如果在这个时候有四到五个围巾的话，效果会非常的好。
太可惜了。而且中期的泰加的兵营啊，补的稍微慢了一点。我们看见在巨象都要顶穿的时候，他还在补第四个和第五个兵营，这个确实补的有点慢。如果在那个时候呢，哦，不过他的重工厂也已经飞出去了，这个也不好说什么。他第一波其实防住的最重要的原因，就是因为有那三个坦克，这三个坦克在远程火力支持上面跟巨象是不相伯仲的，非常的好用。但是后续没有坦克的话，确实在防守起来真的是压力很大。And Hero deserves to be in the spot where he's at. You know, congratulations to Tasia for making it this far. It's unfortunate that Team Liquid had to team kill each other, and it wasn't a final situation. But Hero is representing Team Liquid loud and proud with an amazing undefeated victory so far here at Dreamhack. And just looking at this, I was told that Nesty did go to Codes and win Codes without dropping a map as well. That's something I may have forgotten about as well. But uh, Hero looking to do it at a tournament rather than a league here, an international one too. Our next map on this stream is going to be MTW Demaga going up against Protoss at the finish start. 下一场的比赛是 Demaga 对战 Protoss. Protoss 一听这个名字就知道肯定是神族选手 And is looking to carry it to the quarterfinals to represent Finland, of course. It's going to be a rough game, I think, because Demaga.